Hey guys, and welcome to another two minute tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly and very easily retopologize a raw head scan using this base mesh. Um, this mesh is actually available in the comments below, so feel free to download it and use it as you like. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is export both these meshes from ZBrush as OPJs. So we'll export the scan as scan, and we will call the geometry uh, geometry. Now we'll load up RAP3, um, create two load geometry nodes, and call them scan and geo, and simply hit the file names button to load in the scan mesh into the scan node, and the base mesh geometry into the geometry node. Now we've got, got both meshes loaded in, so we will create a select points node, and we will connect the geo node into the first plug and the scan node into the second plug. And now we can start creating corresponding points um, on each of the faces. So we're going to use major facial landmarks here, so corners of the eyes, um, bottom of the nose, sides of the mouth, uh, the chin and the ears. We don't need to create too many. I'm going to make about 16 points here. Um, in this case less is more because we don't want to confuse the algorithm. So that will do, and now we're going to create a wrapping node, so selection, or alignment, sorry, wrapping, and plug the select points into the yellow plug, and the two geometry nodes into the, uh, the two blue plugs, and hit compute. And there we have it, a wrapped mesh. Now we're going to export that with a save geometry node. Simply export that as wrapped, and load it back into ZBrush. And there we have a wrapped base mesh that matches the geometry of the high-res scan, which we can then simply subdivide a few times and hit the projectile button to transfer the details from the high-res scan onto the base mesh. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it's been useful. Um, if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment section below.